A bunch of you guys kept asking me how I got high stats with low playtime. As you can see here, I have 430 hours of playtime and I'm level 290 with 12 billion net worth. So I will give you tips to progress as fast as I did. But before the video starts, I wanna say that I joined a co-op with Max Collections, which made me get a lot of XP without working for it. But I've made all my net worth by myself, so let's get started. First of all, try to find a money making method that has a high coin per hour ratio. I would recommend mining or flipping. But trusted, how is money gonna help me progress? Well, let's get one thing clear. Doing floor 7 with the juju isn't a good way to progress. Instead, focus on money until you can afford the best gear possible so you can truly enjoy the game. Although, if you miss the floor 7 juju non experience, don't worry, you will probably get clowned on by your teammates anyways because sadly, coins can't buy you skills and you will end up throwing every single run. No, but for real, grind these methods until you have a Terminator or a Hyperion and do Kudra. I highly recommend focusing on money as you start because I've seen a lot of high levels with low net worth. And believe me, having 450 does not make up for not having under 20 talisman. What I found helpful was setting up goals each week. I suggest setting up a goal of grinding X amount of coins per week. The number you choose depends on how much you can play, but personally my goal was to get 1 billion each week. Once the goal was achieved, I was free to spend those coins however I wanted. In summary, I would advise most people to grind until they can afford the best weapons and do Kudra slash carries to progress even faster into the end game. Before we continue, please subscribe. Only 3% of you are actually subscribed and it helps a lot. It would really be funny if we reach 690 subscribers. Please subscribe. Back to the video. Second tip is to do your dailies. I skipped dailies a bunch of times, but now it caught up to me and I struggled to get out of the mountain 7. One thing to keep in mind, don't underestimate passive income. You can make a ton of money by leveling up pits with doing dailies like experimentation table and mining or, or faction dailies. Another thing is the composter. Generally, people don't fuel their composter even though you can make 10 million a day without doing a cent. Third tip, don't diversize your money. I see a large amount of players falling into this trap. Spend all your earning from mining into one setup until you max it if you don't wanna have a bunch of incomplete projects holding you down. So don't buy farming tools if you know you are going to be mining. Instead, spend that money on more mining upgrades. The fourth and final tip is focus on skipping progression. If buying carries will get you to your goal faster, do it. If liquidating some items will make you richer in the long run, then do it. If putting in an extra ship at McDonald's will buy you more skyblock gems, then do it. In all seriousness though, money allows for faster progression throughout the game, which may actually makes skyblock a lot more fun. And if you decide to grind until you have a healthy net worth like 3 billion, you have free reign to do whatever you want with a great setup. Instead of doing floor 7 with the juju, you can use a terminator or a hyperion to do in dungeons. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. These are the methods that work for me. I strongly suggest that you take some of these on board. I will review all your profiles, just comment your IGN down below and your preferred money making method. And I will give you a tip for each and every one of you depending on your profile. That's all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.